Hey, what's up, everybody? It's GameCloth Chat Pack Episode 4. It's me, Derodactyl, Brosteroni over here, my co host, and we have on today RBW Roll Entertainment, also known as Justin Slam. How's it going today, Justin? It's going great. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Living the dream, my dude. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. Um, we're going to get right into some questions with you. Talk about some streaming, video games. Uh, maybe so, we know you're into aliens and stuff. Uh, yes. That stuff. Maybe some other stuff, hor- horror type stuff. All right. First off, uh, first question for you. How did you get into streaming, Justin? I got into streaming. It was It was kind of funny. Um, so I started playing Call of Duty and, uh, a lot of people like that I played with would just laugh at my reactions at stuff. So I, ever since a kid, I I always enjoyed like playing games and then like having somebody watch me behind or like, you know, like my brother watched me or my mom or something like that. So like this whole time I just wanted to, uh, I guess play and then have people watch me. And then I just kind of like started dabbling a little bit with with a pc and you know when i got my pc and it's been a learning experience but um yeah i think that's how pretty much everybody starts and I, that's i think that's pretty much like what happened <laughs> right right so how long ago how long ago did you start streaming um i th- i want to say I, I i believe it was it was two years ago when i like put out like my first video on the internet of like like me playing an actual game online um because i mean i did it with consoles but it it looked terrible and so like i kind of i kind of gave up you know because i didn't know how to stream i didn't know how to do anything and like it looked terrible so i stopped and then i just kind of started again once i got a pc and like more of the equipment to like you know run a little bit better Mm -hmm. um and yeah i would say that like the actual i guess a little bit better looking video came out last year Okay. All right. So, uh, what kind of equipment did you have, did you have to get? Like you said, uh, you tried streaming on consoles first and that, that wasn't working. Right. That wasn't looking too good. So like for, for somebody who doesn't know, could you walk me through like what kind of equipment you had to pick up? Um, well, I got a K as a processor in there, uh, and a very good graphics card, a 2070, because, I mean, all the good ones are all taken now. So that one's not too bad, but uh, I, I essentially built this PC good enough to be able to, like, handle streaming and gaming at the same time. Yeah. Um, now, I know if you have a low-budget PC, you might not be able to, like, stream, like, good quality and, like, run a really good game at the same time, but you could always improve later. Um, but I just – I started – I just kind of did my research and I started out like wanting to have, you know, mediocre stuff before I started streaming. And then I just did it and like it just incorporated with the PC for first and then a a webcam, which is I I run the Logitech 1080p and then a good condenser mic and uh, just downloading the software essentially and learning how to actually use it. Okay. All right. Uh, Good information there. Um, Yeah. Yeah. What kind of games? What kind of I, games? Go ahead, James. Go ahead, Bruce Roney. You want to talk? Oh, I just, um, uh, so what kind of, yeah, yeah, what's up? I got the questions. Um, <laughs> okay. What, um, what kind of games do you stream generally? Um, I recently, for I think the past year, I would say I, I stream mostly, uh, first person story driven games so whether that's fallout or um a horror game like alien isolation which i'm sure we'll get to that in a little bit but uh like horror games the better because um as my audience started to grow a lot of a lot of my audience enjoy watching me play horror games and and it's only because i get really scared when i play and i get really like immersed into the game and stuff and and people enjoy that (laughs) yeah it's uh I used to see like there was like a trailer for some horror game or something, and it was just people's reactions, like <laughs> of, of like the jump scares and stuff. And they're like, ah, like I see, I see that happen on your stream quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. That was probably that was probably for Outlast because those are one of those games that are like you know oh, yeah. really terrifying. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Um, that being said, 
I'm going to skip to this question since we're talking about it. Uh, what what was the most frightening gaming experience you've had oh, that like man. scared the shit out of you? Um, that's that's a very hard question because there's a lot of games that I actually get scared of a lot. Um, but I I would honestly have to say, um, uh, it would have to be the Outlast series for sure. Okay. Like any like any moment in particular like that you could walk us through or just the the game all the games as as a whole um the whole game for sure but to be exact one of the parts i don't know if you guys are like familiar with the game or anything but i've never uh, played there's, it there's the whistleblower dlc which <laughs> you play the perspective of another like person that's blowing the whistle on the whole organization and stuff and you get thrown in a mental institute and then uh like you escape it blah 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 and then like there's this certain part where you're like trying to uh i think you're trying to escape like a chapel or something like that yeah and there's this there's this guy uh is he's uh is, i think the the part of the that part or whatever it's called like the bride and groom it's this guy that he's like obsessed with like dismembering you and turning you into a woman like <laughs> chopping oh. your junk off yeah he chops he tries to chop your junk off and then turn you into like a woman because he wants to marry you and he wants to like create imaginary children with you and stuff and like just the whole experience of going through that like because the guy's obviously chasing you all around like right. yeah. i'm playing i'm playing this at three o'clock in the morning man and it's like <laughs> it's dark and i got this dude looking for me and my leg's broken in the game so i'm just like dragging my leg all around and it's just like a scary <laughs> most thing ever <laughs> all Sounds, right yeah yeah it's <laughs> traumatizing for sure uh, you guys yeah, need to check yeah. it out for sure it's such a good game. yeah i, I should yeah i love it it's like i always have to uh, it's so hard to get into a bit like prepare yourself for this scare like you have a like no you just have to put it down and walk away because like yeah uh, <laughs> oh and that that's the thing is like you, you think you think you can anticipate the scary parts in that game but you don't <laughs> that's the crazy thing about it right right <sighs> that's, that's terrifying <laughs> uh, um you want to take one god so uh yeah, so you uh you stream on like PC mostly or exclusively? Um mostly. Um and it's and it's generally because that's uh where I got most of my following. So when I started uh streaming on on uh YouTube and Twitch, like I got I got a little bit of following on there, but like mostly most of the interactions are on Facebook and it's only just because that is where I started at. So I think my audience grew more on Facebook than on anything else. So like I just mostly focus on that. And mm -hmm. uh, I haven't even hit Twitch affiliate, so like I just kind of don't pay attention too much to it. But I still stream on them, and now I'm doing a little bit better job of actually keeping up with the comments and stuff like that. But like you know, when you have all this stuff going on and you have like two monitors, it's really right. hard to keep up with like your game and then this comment section and that comment section, yeah. and 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 if it's like lagging or whatever, like <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah buy that premium internet i'm still i'm still on the yeah the, i'm still on the one just the facebook gaming right now like i haven't i haven't branched out to the other things yet so i, I don't know about that life yet but i, I can feel well, how that could be rough i i i think you know like facebook is my favorite streaming platform period because it's really easy to um like spread your your uh your channel you know to like right. friends is i mean most of people have facebook and they could share it with their friends yeah. but how many people actually have a twitch you know like so you can always like share it onto somebody's timeline right. and then somebody else can see it so it's like a, a, a better platform in my opinion i like i like i like facebook better too sure. but i think there's that argument where it's like well twitch is just for gaming like you know what i mean like like so people that are into games have twitch or not everybody but you know what i mean if they right. watch if they yeah. watch streamers they probably have a twitch account but yeah but yeah i i like i like how easy it is to just share share my go live share it on my personal page if i want to or to whoever right. i want and it's just it's right there it's simple for me so good answer um yeah 
Next also, question. Also, I tried out the oh, I tried out the support I tried out to support Switch too because they're the ones that started the copyright strike and shit like that with all the all the oh, music okay. and all that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um next question. Uh you used to be known as uh, Trash Gamer. Why the name change? Um, so the name change was a very hard thing that I had to do. Um my dogs are barking. <laughs> Um, it's all good. But uh, so more of the story, what happened was, is like when I would go on YouTube or Twitch or even Facebook, when I would type in Trash Gamer, uh, there was like more than 10. Right, so right. I was like, you know, and I kind of was like yeah. ready for, I was ready for a logo sure. change and like change, like period. And uh, so I, after like long thought, you know, I, I kind of wanted to... Um, have something like a little bit more eye catching and positive and you know because like trash gamer was great and that 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 and that also that also kind of like oriented to the beginning of when i started streaming too because i wanted to promote myself um as somebody that wasn't good at gaming at all like i just wanted to be a yeah. trash gamer like you know i didn't want people to hate on me for sucking right. so that's why i named myself trash gamer and it, but then I saw how many people had that name, and then I, I decided to change it, and I went with Rainbow Roll because you know I love sushi, and uh, the name and how it's spelled wasn't even taken. So like I'm the only Rainbow Roll entertainment out there. So perfect, good, good. Um, and the, and the logo is really cool. I like the I like the sushi logo. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Um, shout out to Richard Garrett. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was just gonna I was just gonna ask if you could shout out who made that for you. Um, Go ahead, Bruce Do you want to take one or a few? Yeah. What's uh, um, after, uh, I guess, is Outlast your favorite game to stream? Or do you have a game that like you just always go back to to stream? I have, I guess I, I could say I have two favorite games. Um, well, actually three. I'm sorry. Three. Um, <laughs> my most favorite game being Silent Hill 2. Okay. Um, and then uh, Alien Isolations, obviously and uh deus ex the deus ex franchise i love that one and you're pl you're playing deus ex right now aren't you i i am yeah. i i went i wanted to dive back into it because it's such a good game i love that game that's a good game uh alien isolation is also really great too it's a lot of fun oh god uh, yeah <laughs> i remember uh there was like an alien like up in the vent or something and i was like running away from it and then all of a sudden like it's like its tail or something right through my torso and you look down and yep. it's like in there i'm like ah <laughs> dude the, the, the ai is so smart in that game dude like you can you can you can like go hide anywhere and like it's like one thing i was reading reading about when i was playing the game is that the developers they wanted people to like feel scared because they didn't want you to grow accustomed and be in one spot all the time you know how like you play a horror game or any kind of game and you find that one spot where you can kind of cheat the system well right. they said no we're not we're not going to do that we're going to make the alien smart so like what they did is if you stay in a locker too long he's going to start checking lockers so like you cannot yeah. hide in lockers the whole time or else he'll find you and that's like right. what makes it crazy yeah yeah um uh yeah. that's nuts so like if you have a favorite hiding place they'll like catch on to you and like you'd have to yeah oh yeah <laughs> <sighs> that's um awesome. that's uh that's horrifying <laughs> real quick i am for the viewers i am on facebook it like we had comments last time on chat back if you want to comment and ask ask uh rainbow roll justin questions or us questions you can and i'm i got i got it pulled up right here so um yeah we'll get to Coming those right yeah we'll get to those too um uh <laughs> what is your most memorable streaming experience um my most memorable streaming experience would have to be um i i have a really good friend that caught me by surprise one time when actually when i was playing alien isolation and like he tipped me an ass load of money <laughs> and oh yeah like, i and, and that, that's that's what that brings up the fact too like i don't know how like i guess you kind of get used to it but like how people that are like you know big streamers you know like how they like keep their composure when you know like they see the cash coming in and stuff like that because like this dude started tipping me and like i just started losing my 
my shit and i was like oh god like what's going on you know like i, I kept on getting distracted by the by by him tipping and stuff like that and like it, it was it was such a good thing and like you know it, it 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 got the stream going and like there was a lot of people watching too um and so like it was just it was a great experience and just to see that like you know even doing something as simple as just playing a game people enjoy it and like you know kind of like support you like that and that's that's cool yeah that's 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 always good um oh, yeah. got a comment uh logan patrick says josh moon for prez yeah that's that's my boy that's that's the one that blew it up with the tips okay <laughs> he okay. actually he was the uh, <laughs> he was the vocalist for my band when i was in a band and i that that was just kind of like what happened. oh very cool <laughs> very cool yeah uh-oh we still Shut good up steam oh <laughs> yes yeah, steam steam's being stupid Gotcha. Okay, there we go. Um, do you watch any big name streamers yourself? Do you watch? Do you watch anybody stri like bigger people? Like, I know you like you'll pop into my stream occasionally, or Jacoby's, or Kimby, or do you watch like anybody that's like really popular? I do. I I, I enjoy watching Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I know of him. Okay. Um, right on. You still got questions up, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What um, hmm. what um, what makes a good horror game to you? Uh, is it the jump scares or is it the like the building of tension? Um, yeah. Those, I mean, those are those are great points. Uh, it's definitely the build up and the tension, but I say the most the the best thing that makes a horror game i say is sound and music um like you can have gore and jump scares all you want but if if you got shitty music playing in it like it's not going to be scary and if your footsteps don't sound realistic like it's not going to be scary but like if you have a game that like like you're walking through this dark hallway and you know it's a dark hallway but if you have like background noise going on behind you and rustling and like you know that scary like like grind note that's going on on a violin or whatever as you're walking and you're getting close to the door and it's like building like that's what makes a really scary game <laughs> okay all right yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. definitely atmosphere is um, a big thing definitely I, you know it's like <laughs> you can only think about it but uh yeah definitely makes that it whole better. environment yeah definitely i definitely agree with i you. mean a, a good a good example too is uh like i don't know if you guys know slender man but um yeah, yeah like that yeah. has it has it has a great like great background <clears throat> noise and like the graphics are shit but like you know you you have <laughs> you have music that's like grinding like you know your insides playing and then like all of a sudden you see a freaking dude standing on a mountain and stuff like that, <laughs> that that will scare the piss out of you you know but yeah. like you know you can have a, all the blood you want and it yeah. won't make it scary but the music does and the sound okay yeah yeah true true um Good point. switching gears here a little bit uh are you big into battle royale games you said you were you said you played call of duty back in the day yeah um, do you play like uh any like newer call of duty or battle Roy other battle royale games that got pretty popular here in the last couple of years you know i i was playing warzone a lot before um i started doing the horror streams and stuff but um the reason i mean i, I don't know like the reason i i stopped playing it is because a like i didn't i couldn't really find a lot of people to play with like yeah. you know all the time so like i didn't like playing by myself because if you play warzone and one player you're gonna get raped because everybody's camping and all that stuff right um <laughs> but and then plus nobody was watching when i was playing um battle royale games so yeah. i just kind of put that on hold but i would say like warzone is like one of my favorites um but watching you actually stream uh uh, uh pub has been like making me wonder about getting PUBG. I love PUBG. Man. Uh, <laughs> we both play yeah, it. We both play it together. I, yeah, I it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> I just wish yeah. we could play together, like me being on PC with you guys. Yeah. Um. I know it's cross-platform with like PlayStation. I think. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think it's cross-platform yeah. with PC to console though. Console though. Probably not. No. Um, We'd be getting wrecked way harder if it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah. God. Can you imagine? Right. Uh, okay. Uh, what What's your favorite uh, multiplayer game? Multiplayer game? Yeah. Mm. Or like PvP esque. Like we know, we know you play a lot of story-driven games, but it, would right. it be Call of Duty or then? I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I mean it's like it's it's all right. Um, I was having actually a lot of fun with Rust. Um, okay. A, a few yeah. weeks ago, when I was playing that, that one was pretty fun. So I, mm -hmm. I, I guess I would just have to say that maybe. Yeah, uh, Carlos said the same thing last week. Like that, that's one of his big games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He really loves that game in PvP, so yeah. good answer. I've never played it, so I, I don't Just, I don't know I don't anything know. about it. Uh, uh, but I keep thinking about getting into it. Yeah, it's like I mean, it's kind of like a battle royale, but then at the same time, it's not. Mm -hmm. And then you like literally just start out with a rock, and then you have to like build everything. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Okay. Cheese. Cool. That's wild. Uh, honestly, it sounds really fun. <laughs> uh. What about your favorite single player campaign? Mm. What or did we mention that already? I I think well I think you guys asked what what, what was my favorite game of all time, uh, yeah. Not yeah. Mm. Um I mean it, it, it I I that that just depends because like I I have I have favorite games as in like for story and for gameplay. Um but I mean Story wise, like I, I would just have to say Deus Ex because, like you know, playing playing Mankind Divided and uh, Human Revolution, like both those stories combined, like it's such a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, right on. Uh, yeah. Gonna take one. Jeff? What um? Yeah. What um? Besides PC, have you streamed on anything else, or what's your what other consoles do you play on? I have not streamed on any other consoles. I, I actually, I don't have a capture card per se to stream on consoles, which yeah. is why I only stream on PC right now. I, I am working on getting a, a capture card so that way I can, but I mean, I also have a Nintendo Switch and uh, okay. I don't I don't have anything else because um, like since I bought my PC, I wasn't using anything, so I sold everything. But I used to have everything, but I just wasn't using it, so I sold everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. PC seems to be able to play almost everything, so yeah. Oh yeah, I get it for sure. <laughs> and it plays them better than most consoles. I guess. <laughs> um, how did you get into gaming originally? Dude, I've been gaming. Was born. <laughs> right, I, I feel the same way. Okay, yeah. so like, it, it, I I think it, it it started with um, shit with the Nintendo sixty four and and Super Nintendo like playing Mario Kart with, you know, my brother and like the, the neighbors and stuff and and all that. Like all all the 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 couch playing games, you know, and then Halo and like all that stuff. Like, you know, it's just like once you play one game and you like it, like that's yeah. it. You're never done playing. <laughs> right. Um yeah, I was big into like I was big into like Halo three. Like but but I'm really old. I feel like I'm really old. <laughs> um, but, so like, <laughs> I I started um, gaming like during Nintendo, the first Nintendo. Like, just aren't you like three years older than me? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how old you are, but uh, I'm, but I'm uh, thirty. <laughs> yeah, I'm thirty, going on thirty five this year. I think. I, I don't even know my own age. I'm so old, man. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, I, yeah, I started with Nintendo. Uh, but when I I got pretty big in uh, gaming myself, like Halo Three, probably, and then I it took off like big time. Um, but uh, are there any games coming out soon that you are looking forward to getting into or streaming? Oh yeah. Can you oh, name? Yeah, can you name easy. some? <laughs> uh, I can name one for right now yeah. because, like, I, I kind of been in a little bit out of the loop. Um, Outlast three, dude. Outlast okay. three. Yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> Comes out this year. Uh, yeah. Is that is that fall I time remember. or holiday time or? I I believe so. Yeah, probably like around October ish. Okay. All right. Um. You want to take one, James, or a couple? Yeah. What um? I guess um. What do you do uh, when you're not streaming? Do you have a another career? Or... 
Yeah, um, I, you know, I, I, I cook a lot at home, um, but uh, I work at a brewery and that's usually like I spend most of my time there and then hanging out nice. and yeah. watching movies but, uh, and stuff. What brewery that's, is it? Oh. The brewery is called Bare Hands Brewery out of Granger, Indiana. Cool. Nice. Yeah. I've never had any, yeah, so if I do all, what do you, what do you, sure check it out, yeah. what do you do there? Do you just, uh, do you pour drinks or like, I, yeah, I, I pour beer and, and I cook. Okay. And then awesome. whatever, whatever is needed to be, like if they need me to kick somebody out, I can kick somebody out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's, it's fun, you know, like, like There's I, I like it there because trades. yeah, I, I, like going every, going there, like everybody does everything. So like, it's kind of like like a very like team oriented place so like it, it, you kind of almost don't like really have to like ask anybody to like do something be like everybody just does everything so like everything just runs itself kind of yeah. you know nice that's an awesome nice work yeah. environment to have, have yeah. yeah oh yeah and it's beer i mean who doesn't like beer <laughs> speaking of beer that brings yeah. me yeah. to my next yeah. question uh what's your favorite <laughs> beer <laughs> Ooh. um my favorite beer Man, I, I, you know, <laughs> it's so weird because like, you know, every five years you have a different favorite beer. Um, yeah, I, I would, I would honestly, I, I would still have to say, um, there's a brewery called Sweetwater out of Georgia. They have a pale ale called the 420 extra pale ale. That's like probably my oh, top yeah. favorite. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I what, feel like I've had a Sweetwater. Yeah, I don't. Their their stuff is dank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Like it smells like bud, dude. Like it smells like hard bud. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, you play a lot of horror games. Do you like horror movies as well? Um, I I do and I don't because, I mean, I feel like a good horror movie hasn't came out in a long time, so. I, I, I watch yeah. old school horror movies, but I don't necessarily watch a lot of like horror movies. Like if if I were to have like a favorite genre of movies, it would probably have to be like uh like action hero based stuff, like you know, yeah. like Avengers and stuff like that. But yeah. um I guess not really. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Um speaking of adventure hero movies, have you seen the new uh uh, Justice League. You kept oh God, thoughts. yeah, uh, dude. I I started watching that. I I started watching that at like two o'clock in the morning, and it didn't get done to like seven thirty in the morning. It was so great. Yeah, it was That's really good. Movie. My, yeah. it is my my only complaint about the movie is Jared Leto as Joker. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't seen it yet, yeah, but I definitely, yeah. okay, yeah. you'll know. <laughs> I mean, he was, just, you know, he's all yeah, yeah, it's. Build up which part we're talking about. yeah i uh, 100 percent with you on that and and 100%. you know what like i i actually didn't mind him in suicide squad i thought he did a fantastic job in suicide squad because it, it portrayed mm -hmm. more of the uh wasn't it very much yeah the the killing joke joker and i was like well that yeah. that's like he did a great job but like this mm -hmm. one is just like bro it was like bland <laughs> i so much yeah i actually was surprised how much i liked him in uh Suicide Squad. Like, yeah, Man, I'm kind of into him. Like, I didn't think I would be, but okay, cool. I, I don't know if I don't know. I don't know where they're going with it, but I see. hope it's good. I hope it is. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Commander Quest says Joker was still trash. <sighs> no, yeah. not. I mean, not in Suicide Squad. Like, Suicide Squad was kind of a trash movie. But yeah, uh, <laughs> Joker, Joker was good though. Like, I like Joker's performance. I like Harley Quinn's performance. Um, I liked the the Harley Quinn movie that came out. Like that one was a pretty decent movie. Um, but like yeah, I don't know, like they, or whatever. Yeah, they they uh uh with the Batman versus Superman movie and the Suicide Squad, like their approach on Batman, like like I think Batman is a phenomenal or no, so I'm sorry, Batman. Ben Affleck's a phenomenal <laughs> Batman and Bruce Wayne, but like in these those two movies, like. He just sucked, but in Justice League, he was kind of dope. I wish I would have seen a lot more Batman, though. Yeah, yeah, right. I was, uh, surprised how little of him was in there. Like he would have been a big yeah. Sequel. He's know. like a lot yeah. of there's a lot of there's a lot of Bruce Wayne and and Alfred, but like very little Batman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hundred percent right with you. That's uh, um. 
Commander says I, uh, uh, he was talking about the Snyder Cut, the Joker and Snyder oh, Cut. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I hope everybody thinks yeah. the same as we do. <laughs> yeah, right, I know. I follow. No, just kidding. Uh, um, do you like the Alien game? Do you like the Alien movies? Of course. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's, yeah. what's your favorite? My favorite one, and people might laugh at me, and we, I might get a lot of hate for this one, but it would have to be Covenant and Prometheus. Yeah, I like Prometheus. I too. love Prometheus. Yeah. I haven't seen Covenant yet. Yeah, because I mean, and, and uh, like the reason I liked it a lot is because like, I obviously I love I love the classics for sure. Um, I think three and Resurrections were trash, but uh, um, the first one was fantastic and it's still like aged pretty well. But like Covenant and uh, and Prometheus, like I kind of feel like they dove back into the classic and then brought what made Alien Alien into like fucking like now you know new now age times. time yeah yeah new age like better yeah. better graphics all that stuff and when i yeah. watched prometheus I, uh, I didn't even know it was an alien movie until yeah me either. Started, <laughs> like i was yeah. just like oh the, let's let's watch this cool movie and then all of a sudden I, uh, was like wait this looks a lot like a alien <laughs> yeah like, yeah is this 100 percent? ah that was so funny i know i had a bug where i was like I don't know if I was watching it, but we looked at each other like, is this like, <laughs> that it was like a okay, like movie. So it was a really cool surprise. I'm glad you guys liked it too. I, I also, I, I like that like in, in Covenant, how they show, or maybe it was in Prometheus too, but like um, how they show like, you know, the <clears throat> the stuff going in dude's ear and then like, that's how he gets yeah. chest burster and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. Um, you, and I see you. I see you post like new alien figures and stuff that oh, you, yeah. on on Facebook. You collect a lot of them. How, how many do you have? I do actually. Let me. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... I got like I got ten of them, but this would be my favorite one. Oh, dope. Yeah, that looks really cool, it's, man. Uh, it's from oh, Covenant, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, I do, I do, I do collect them. Um, mostly, mostly because like the Xenomorph is such a badass creature. Um, right. But, mm. dude, I mean, if you see like some of these like going online, like they're going for so much, man. So like, really? they increase in value over time for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, a couple comments <laughs> on Facebook. Uh, I missed this one, but what made Jared Leto a good Joker? In, um, uh, in Suicide Squad, I'm guessing. Yeah. In, in Suicide Squad, it, it was it like, I think it was as much closer to the Killing Joke series in the, in the comics more than anything. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't Heath Ledger, but like, um, that was a different Joker on all on, on its own. Like this one was like straight up comic book like dude fell in freaking chemical bat and like you know right, started right. getting all crazy like. They just they nailed it on that one, and I think Jared Leto did the best that he could, and like his face looked exactly like he did in a comic, and I really like enjoy that because of that. And that that's that's usually how I am about like anything that like you know like reboot stuff that people do, like if they try to like remake, like if they try to make a movie out of a game or whatever. I always look, does that person look like the person that I'm playing in a game? And and it does, and that's why I enjoyed it. Okay, all right. Um... I got a couple more comments to run through here. Facebook's blowing up right now. Uh, every alien movie, yeah, get in, get in that chat. Everyone, every alien yeah. movie is gold in its own way, but three is kind of trash at the end. That was from Logan Patrick. Commander Quest, did we talk about <laughs> hot sauce yet? Trust me, he will know what I'm talking about. Hot sauce. What's the hot sauce thing, man? <laughs> um, that could be a lot of things. So when I was in a band, we launched our own hot sauce, and that one was pretty good. But oh, nice. uh, either that's what he's talking about, or he's talking about when we had the bomb. Because <laughs> I have the bomb and uh, and uh, the last dab. I don't know if you, anybody watches Hot Ones, but I have those ones, and I like I like pushing it on my friends. <laughs> oh, okay. And it's like it's a scorching hot, hot, hot sauce. <laughs> got you, got you. <laughs> so you're big into you're big into the hot the oh, hot no. sauces. And... Oh gotcha. yeah, definitely. Uh, you made your own. Did you make your own? 
And I have bad. not made my own Crazy. yet, but yeah. um, we we worked with a company uh, out of Florida, uh, and cool. he made a he made a recipe for us, and then we just slapped our label on it and sold it, and it like it was it, it honestly it like it sold so fast. I think it sold like in like four days, and we had like two cases yes. of it, and then some. Well, actually, it, it, the only reason it sold fast too is because somebody we took it to a show and we were selling it at the show. And like somebody stole a whole box of it, so like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, we didn't care because classic. we were like, fuck it, <laughs> yeah, you know, like if, if you want to have all of our hot yeah. sauce, fuck it, yeah. dude, like have some hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, dude, ten years of hot sauce. <laughs> do Do you nice. think Do you think you would make? Did you think it was good? Oh yeah. Oh, it was it was delicious. Do you think you would make your own hot sauce then? Yeah. Like if you said you cook yeah. a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. I I actually I have a kit that I'm gonna experiment with, um, but um, I'm I'm from Puerto Rico, and a lot of people don't know that. But uh, back like when I used to live in Puerto Rico, like my stepdad at the time, he used to make hot sauce and stuff. So I kind of still remember a little bit of how he used to make it, and that's kind of what I want to play around with. And it's like essentially kind of like pickling and fermenting and stuff. Um, okay. And that's mm -hmm. that's what I want to play around with. But like I I just. I got so many hobbies that sometimes it's like kind of hard to like start another hobby, you know? <laughs> yeah, totally. It's <laughs> uh, so much time. There's only so yeah. much time in the day, man. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. And then I like to sleep too. So <laughs> I, I like to, I don't get enough of it sometimes. Uh, Armada gaming says Justin is one sexy bitch. Much love. <laughs> I love you, Josh. That's Josh. Uh, Logan about the Joker says he thinks it was a makeup for him. Honestly, it's off putting. Uh, yeah, and Commander said he meant both things as far as the hot sauce went. Um, <laughs> speaking of uh, multiple hobbies, you play D and D as well, don't you? I actually, yeah, I did. Uh, we started a campaign. I say like about a month and a half ago, and uh, I think we're on our. So we play like every other Sunday. So like I think we're all like on our we played this last Sunday. Like I think uh it was our third one, so we're still level two, but we're getting there. <laughs> right. What what class? What, <laughs> yeah, it takes what class so. do you play? I'm a human barbarian. <laughs> okay. Are right, are you enjoying it then? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And um it was a lot more fun uh last Sunday just because like I got really high. <laughs> and, and and I don't know, like I think it was just that weed or something, but like I just I got so immersed into the hard. game. Yeah, like I like my imagination was going out of like out of everywhere, dude. And like it was like I felt like I oh, was yeah. in the game, dude, and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, definitely, dude. I love D. So you play what do you play every week, every two weeks? What did you say that? I must Yeah, every every other it. Every other Sunday, essentially. Okay. And right. I, I'm I'm working I'm working with them to like maybe we got a couple camera shy people, but I'm like maybe working on maybe doing like a live stream of DND. I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Months ago, I yeah. had a guy that was big into DND, like, and we were talking about doing something with game cloth because I wanted to do, reach out to tabletop games as well and do stuff with that. Um, and I wanted to get into that, but mm -hmm. we didn't end up doing it. So because I'm not, I have, I've only played like once. So like, it wasn't, wasn't me, but, uh, um, yeah, I really wanted to, uh, delve into that and stuff like on this page here. But so I think, I think you should go for it. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I think, I think a lot of people like to listen to D and D. <laughs> yeah i i, I um, was watching i was watching this one that they did uh they did a... oh go ahead yeah sorry what's that justin go ahead <laughs> oh no i, I was uh, i was just saying yeah, i was i was watching about... this yeah i was watching this one this one of uh they they did uh they did a doom eternal crossover and it was it was pretty dope my buddy my buddy sent it to me from youtube and that one oh, was wow. really good that's pretty yeah sweet. Sorry, right, I think yeah. I think we got a little bit of lag <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Logan yeah. says should be a dwarf shorty yeah, commander yeah. quest, high elf score Ooh. here, baby. <laughs> um, last thing I really wanted to bring up is the band you've been talking <laughs> about. Uh, can you tell us a little bit 
about more about uh, the band you were in? Uh, I was in a band called Hostile. Um, we played uh, heavy hardcore music, um, and like most of our most of our music was like essentially about like fighting against racism and bigotry and all that stuff. Uh, oh, very. It cool. was a it was a fun three years. Um, all good things must come to an end, though. <laughs> but our right. music's still out there. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, you play guitar. Wow. Yes. Okay. I did guitar and then backup vocals as well. Awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. Sweet man. Um, are you? Do you think you'll get back into playing music again, or or no? I still have all my equipment, so like I should because all my stuff is just sitting there. But uh. Um, I, I, I know I will, whether it's metal, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to be ever in the metal industry again, just because, um, I don't know, like I kind of, I started listening to a lot of jazz and, uh, like some like groovy stuff and like, I don't know. I kind of want to like play to a different crowd now. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Get a funk band going. Yeah. yeah get a, get a little <laughs> oh, yeah. funky up in here. Uh, dude, yeah, nice. for sure. It's definitely surf funky. Rock, funk band or something. Yeah. I love <laughs> surf rock too. I love, dude, uh, too. I don't know if you know surf curse, but they're one of my favorites. I ha I've never heard. I've I heard. Like I've, yeah. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. Surf rock's definitely a good time. Uh, I'm right there with you. Uh, Commander says sorcerer. I clearly can't spell Joshua much. Josh, Joshua with the 500 stars. Thank you, Joshua. Appreciate that. It says much love to you guys as well. It. Supporters of Justin deserve some stars. Thank, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, with that being said, all of our main questions are done, and we we're gonna go into our final little segment here. We we do a game called uh, Game Cloth This or That, at where uh, we will name two two things, and Justin picks what he likes better or what he's into better. And then, and then we'll we'll go ahead and say goodbye to everybody, and all that. Um, so go ahead, James. Yeah, uh, everybody, it's uh, uh, you already did the intro for it. Uh, yeah. Do you like Halo, or uh, so uh, Halo or Destiny? Halo. Okay, Warzone or Apex? You we kind of went over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bow or sword? Sword. Freddy or Jason? Jason. Whiskey or beer? Oh, oh come <laughs> on! You can't do that to me! <laughs> oh, shit. Right now, probably whiskey. Same. Uh, tacos or burgers? Likewise. Burgers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mario or Zelda? Zelda. Goku or Vegeta? Definitely Goku. My guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's the end of this or that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Here, here, we're gonna plug everything. Um, you can follow. Uh, you can follow Game Cloth right here on the Facebook page. We have Instagram at OG Game Cloth, Twitter at OG Game Cloth. We're on TikTok now where I got to make more videos for that. But I mostly do like production of clothing videos right now, like little short clips. Uh, but that's that Game Cloth. Um, right now, that's all we got, I think. Um, we got this new To The Moon shirt here. Go to our website at www.gamecloth.online to pick that up. We do custom sleeve prints um, where you can get your gamer tag or your streamer name or whatever you want, really, on the sleeve. Um, we got we have other shirts on there. We have uh, Pocket Tee, uh, our new Pocket Tee Scarab. Um, that's on there. And we have our old Cosmonaut shirt and our, our new hats, these over-under hats. They come in red, blue, purple, just flat, flat bills for now, but we're... We'll be doing some dad hats or some flex fit hats as well yeah. here soon. Um, Justin, anything you want to plug? No, nah, I just uh, I look up Rainbow Row anywhere, RMBW. Uh, and then just mostly thank you guys for having me. Yeah, of course. I had a, gr I had a great time, man. That's uh, yeah. RMBW yeah. Roll for, Entertainment. Thanks for the chat pack. Yes. 
Yes, at, correct. You, you're on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Okay. Yes. All right. Sweet. Um, that's it for us. Had a great time, man. I uh, hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks, everyone, for joining us, and peace out. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah. Good times. Later.